Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you the Death Smiles, but not the Xbox 360 version. I am going to show you the iPod Touch version of Death Smiles that just came out in English last week. For those that don't know, Death Smiles is a shooting game. Um, developed by Cave and it's like a goth in the description it said this, it's a gothic um, gothic horror shooter so here is the main menu as you can see it I believe the Xbox version might have came out in 2007 and this version I'm showing you is for the iPod touch and iPhone as you can see on the bottom right, mm. it says, what does it say? Game Center and Open Faint Compatible. Those are uh, social, kind of like achievements where you, you can gain like different badges, I guess, for um, reaching a certain number of points or level. Um, K World it, it launches the website portal and start menu. Let's turn the volume up. Here's the main menu. There's an iPhone mode, which is basically uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of like a mode where you just rack up points and money to buy better items. And you start off as you start off in novice difficulty, and then you move on to normal and then hard mode. But you have to beat the game on each mode to unlock it. So I've been playing the iPhone mode the most, and the arcade mode is similar to well, I guess the arcade um, of Death Smiles, and it's where you you could pick. Uh, different characters and then play through the whole game with that specific character so pretty much like characters on this box you can play it as so right now I'm going to show you a level in the iPhone mode my room is where you can customize your character by uh, trying on different items and weapons which you have to buy and it increases stats like defense, magic attack, uh, physical attack and stuff like that and then start is starting the game see here if you push the arrow I already beat novice I'm on normal difficulty and then down here there's a practice mode So this is, I'm trying to get a good lighting. Okay, this is the so-called world map. You click on this one, this one, or this one to play that specific stage. So let's start out with A1 Port Town. So you move your character with your finger. This button you can change to left or right aiming, depending on where the enemies are coming from. This changes to a laser attack. I don't know if one is more po powerful than the other, but I always stick to the shot one. As you can see, the graphics are pretty good, but they're also blurry in a way. Like, they're not opt optimized for the iPod Touch or the iPhone 4's uh, Retina display. And here, this button, when it's blinking, is when you have kind of like a super move that, like, 
makes your attack stronger and it uh, erases like all the enemy uh, bullets right away. So if you press that, your attacks do more damage. And right here is the boss of stage 1. That's his health on the right. And sometimes they'll switch perspectives so they have health on the left. And at the end you have to do like these little repeat things to uh, get the treasure at the end. And if you fail that, you still pass the stage but you don't get the gold chest. So that's stage one. You can see that's my score right there. And that's the gold I have. 85k. Here, the dresser is again where you can try on your items. The shop is in the middle where you can buy new items. And the OK button brings you back to the world map. So that's my little look at Death Smiles for the iPod and iPhone. If you purchased this last week when it first came out for the first, I believe, three to four days, you could have got this for $4.99. And now that the little initial sale promotion is over, the price of this game is, I believe, $8.99. For five bucks, I believe it's worth it, but not nine dollars. It, it's it kind of gets old, but it's kind of addicting in a way because you can like uh, replay the same stages and uh, rack up your points and uh, buy new items and stuff like that. So this is Death Smiles for the iPod and iPhone. Thanks for watching.